Hi everyone, this is Anshul Sadaria, SV2 at Google. In this video, we are going to discuss about a billion dollar question. Is the software industry actually future proof? Before we jump into that debate, if you want to keep learning from industry experts, check out Scalar's event page. Link is in the description below. Now you must be thinking, why is this a billion dollar question? Obviously, because our software industry is multi-trillion dollar industry and because it impacts the lives of millions of software engineers around the world. There are some pro-artificial intelligence professionals who believe that artificial intelligence will reach a point in time where they will take over the entire human race. But then there are some professionals who are skeptic about the fact that artificial intelligence will become so powerful that it will completely take over the human race. If you want my opinion in a single line, no. There can be no better time than now to start your career as a software engineer. Now you would be like, hey, what if I don't want to get a job in some software company? There are so many freelancers around the world who are doing amazing work and no one is talking about them. There are so many opportunities which are coming in upcoming tech startups in the field of cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, blockchain, web3 and so many other cliches in the field of software engineering. Now just to throw a random stat at you, as per the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, it is believed that between 2016 and 2026, the number of software engineering professionals in the US will grow at a freaking rate of 24%, which is higher than any other profession in that country. Now I know this was about the US, but believe me, if I talk about our home in India as well, the startup bubble is growing larger than anyone could have ever comprehended. And not just the startups, even the tech giants, they are expanding their horizons and dipping their feet in the unknown territory, which we thought earlier was their limit. Having said that, I know many software pundits have been claiming that this profession, like many others previously, will become obsolete as well. Do you think software engineers will become jobless in the future? At this instant, one example comes to my mind. Did you remember that during the industrial revolution, the assembly lines took over manual labor? What is the pattern behind this advancement? Automation. As human beings, we have been striving to automate tasks. If I can be more precise, then we have been automating boring, monotonous tasks which no longer interest us a lot, or the task which don't require a lot of creativity or brain power from our side. You know, I'm a very big, big fan of sci-fi web shows on Netflix and Amazon Prime. And growing up in the era of sci-fi content on OTT, the first question that strikes my mind is, what if artificial intelligence can program other things? Now, some intellectual person will obviously reply to this question, asking who will write the code for them? who will design and think about the different algorithms that can be applied to artificial intelligence programs. Yes, buddy, you are absolutely correct. But let me add one question to that. What if artificial intelligence reaches a point of saturation where it can start coding itself? It can program other artificial intelligence programs. I know this is a freaking thought and may not be true for a long, long time, but it certainly is not a thought which can be dumped into the garbage bin. I understand the concern behind these questions. And if you just glance around us, there are so many amazing solutions like Wix, Squarespace, and many other products, which can help you bootstrap a website without actually having to understand how HTML or CSS actually works. This seems like a concern, isn't it? I can assure you it is not. If you remember, I previously mentioned that automation is one of the core pillars of our advancement as a human race. We humans just love automating the stuff. We have been trying to automate things since last few centuries. And if you look at the trend of the last few years, in spite of that, the demand for software engineers has only increased. Let's take a look at the example of website programming automation. Yes, we can automate some part of it. But there are so many custom functionalities which can be added only by someone who has knowledge of how to code. I am someone who was born in the late 90s, not so old and yet not so young. 
I have seen startups like Facebook grow from scratch. Facebook as a social media platform has developed so much, so many new functionalities and features ever added every now and then. I can only imagine it took tens of years to reach a stage where it is right now and it required incrementally improving the code. And this could not be possible without people who actually understand the product, who actually understand the people who use the product and for the time being, people who have the knowledge of how to code. We all know that artificial intelligence systems are getting powerful every single day. There is no denying to that fact. But as some intellectual person pointed out to me, someone actually needs to think about those algorithms, someone who can code those artificial intelligence systems. Yes, machine learning is a very magical thing, with some systems even being able to code themselves or at least a part of it. But it will be nothing without those amazing brilliant minds behind it, working on the algorithms, working to improve and refine them at every stage of the artificial intelligence life cycle. Now let me take some familiar examples so that normal people like me can understand. Code editors. We have seen them evolve from normal text pads to more advanced text editors like IntelliJ. Isn't that some sort of programming advancement using artificial intelligence? Systems can now point us to the places in our code which can be improved. Isn't that some sort of miracle which we thought was not possible a few years back? Where I work, there are programs which help me improve the readability of the code, point out code redundancies, detect technical debt and so on. There are systems which ensure reliability of other systems, monitors the functioning 24-7 and throws alerts whenever something goes wrong. All of these advancements have been possible because we wanted to utilize the engineer's time in something more creative, some place where our grey cells are more valuable than just looking at some graphs and trying to improve code quality manually. All of these has ensured that the demand for software engineers doesn't decrease, but instead increase to build more such systems to automate such mundane tasks. Some researchers believe that it will still take artificial intelligence a lot of time to be able to create production ready code spanning more than a few lines. They believe that AI is still not poised to replace developers completely but rather help developers understand the various options that they have. We programmers can definitely take help of artificial intelligence as a coding buddy to help us develop better softwares. If we trace the human history back, the professions have rapidly evolved over the time. Just to share with you some recent development, no one could ever imagine that Web3 technologies and blockchain development could rapidly grow at this pace in 2015. When our inventors were developing motor vehicles, no one ever imagined of creating a driverless car. What is one pattern behind all of these? Are human beings never satisfied? Yes, that's one thing for sure. The passion and the hunger to keep improving over the time is never satiated. With so many new advancements, there are new problems which keep on arising. With every one new solution that we find out, we come up with five new problems to deal with. We as human beings have developed a keener eye to look at new problems, to find some groundbreaking idea to solve that issue. And then there comes a race where people try to beat each other with innovative solutions to find out which one is the more efficient solution to solve that problem. AdTech is my favorite example among all of these new bursting ideas. We found out an issue, pointed out to a solution to mitigate that issue and then came a burst of solutions trying to beat each other. In this race, ultimately developers are always going to win, they are never going out of demand because Newer problems will lead to newer solutions. With newer solutions will come a never ending iteration of improvements. Go for victory developers. But one thing is for sure. As we take a look into the future, the demand for skilled engineers is always going to increase. With so many specialized fields coming up, 
there is going to be a never ending demand of those skilled software engineers in each of those fields so to all of those who are watching this video right now explore as many fields as possible which actually interest you make sure that you gain expertise in one of those fields and make yourself indispensable and don't forget to build some amazing proof of works around it at this time one question would pop up in your mind how can i make myself future proof in the field of software engineering if you take a look at the college curriculums around they have evolved a lot in this changing times there are a lot more specialization courses than they existed 5 years back if i remember correctly i think iit hyderabad was one of the first premier institutes to come up with a degree with specialization in artificial intelligence now there are so many colleges which offers master programs in data science machine learning computer vision cognitive science and i guess i can go on and on if education providers have evolved with changing technologies why can't we as education seekers up our game as well my mantra is pretty simple try to be a jack of a lot of fields around which actually interest you and make sure that you become master of at least one field in which you are indispensable from all of these discussion one thing is pretty sure ai is not going to replace human beings in near future yes artificial intelligence can code we have already seen it and it can keep performing the mundane coding tasks as technology has replaced a lot of such human task in the past few centuries as well as in the past few decades more so but going to the extent of saying that software engineers will become obsolete will require a lot more advanced artificial intelligence and i firmly believe at that point in time we will be asking this question for all the professions on this planet earth so in the near future software engineers won't run out of jobs the code can keep changing new technologies new programming languages can come and go new complexities new challenges will come and go but one thing is for sure the human empathy required to understand what the human being wants it is going to be irreplaceable so if you are planning to make a career in software engineering your bets are safe if you like this video make sure that you give it a like put your comments down in the comment section subscribe scalers youtube channel if you want to keep receiving such amazing content thank you bye bye